July is going to be hotter than ever because you get up to $50 off any smartphone at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. July is a month of hot weather. That's nothing new. Also nothing new, heat-related danger. According to federal EPA research, between 1979 and 2014, about 9,000 people died heat-related deaths in the U.S. It's a great time of year for outdoor fun, but those who work in or live in the heat are very much at risk for heat exhaustion and heat stroke. So you have heat exhaustion and then you have heat stroke. Most commonly heat exhaustion is going to be the lesser of the two evils, but it's still significant that we would want to see in the emergency department. Um, so somebody starts to get really over, uh, overheated, um, they're really sweating profusely, um, they start to have nausea and vomiting and that sort of thing. Uh, make sure that you get those people into a cool place. According to the American Red Cross, several symptoms accompany heat exhaustion, including heavy sweating, headache, dizziness, and weakness. At that point, first aid is fairly simple and includes spraying cool water on the victim and fanning them and giving them water to drink. Heat stroke, however, can be life-threatening. Heat stroke symptoms include hot red skin, changes in consciousness and neurological changes, vomiting, and high blood pressure. Calling 911 immediately is the first step to getting heat stroke victims the help they need. If you have somebody at home and you can't get them to the emergency department quickly, that type of person we would want to put them um, neck deep in some cold water um, or cold towels or ice packs just applied to the extremities and the core of the body and that will help you know, resolve the situation. In part two of this report, we'll take a look at how to keep yourself safe if you must be outside in the extreme heat. Reporting in Pikeville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.